Crossing the Blue Mountains, Blacksland, Wentworth and Lawson, 1813. Beginning with the first fleet in 1788, many people from Great Britain came to Australia to live. This included convicts and free settlers in search of a new life. Back in those days, you needed to grow your own food in order to survive, and much of the good grazing land was quickly taken as Australia's population grew. The search for more land in New South Wales proved difficult. West of Sydney were the rugged Blue Mountains, named because of their rich blue colour. Beyond the mountains was more grazing land. The only problem was no one could get there. Even from the very beginning of Australian exploration, the Blue Mountains were thought to be impassable. This means that no one could find a way through them. When you really need something, you'll find a way. Three wealthy landowners, Gregory Blacksland, William Wentworth and William Lawson, decided that there must be a way to cross the Blue Mountains. In May 1813, the three men set off. They took a local indigenous guide, four convict servants, four pack horses laden with supplies and equipment, and a few dogs to find a way by following the high ridges. After travelling many weeks, they saw a high hill shaped like a sugar loaf. From the top of the hill, they saw stretching out below a forest or grassland large enough to support the stock of the colony for a long time. As a reward for their work, the three men were given 445 hectares each of this newly surveyed country. Within six months of their journey, a road was built from Sydney to the west according to their route. Much is owed to Australia's early explorers. Their bravery helped us to find our way around the country.